Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm going to show you a really fun and interesting antique style mousetrap that was first patented in 1909. This version is called the Fairy. It's printed right there on the front. And this is an all metal version of a style mousetrap known as a toy wheel, which was really popular in the late 1800s and early 1900s. They first started appearing in catalogs of hardware stores in 1871 and continued on through the early 1900s. And there's many, many different variations of these, different traps mixed with different toy wheels. What makes this so special is we have a classic single catch mousetrap. These were really popular in the 1800s. I have a larger version here. I've caught squirrels in this, rats, mice. Basically, they have a little latch. The mouse goes in, takes the bait, and it closes. But then the mouse doesn't have anything to do all night until you can release it in the morning. Well, what this version did is they gave the mouse some fun. They added a little exercise wheel or hamster wheel so they could enter through here and then spend the night running around on the hamster wheel. And then in the morning, you can just let them go. It's a pretty interesting concept to think that you give the mouse something to do while they're trapped. I'm going to zoom in on this and show you exactly how it works. In the back we have the little toy exercise wheel, the little hamster wheel that spins around. And in this back wall there's a hole so they can enter from the back to the front. The front here is a single live catch trap. It has a spring loaded door so you can open that up. And when they touch that bait, they'll trigger it, close, and then they're stuck. And then they can move from here to here. The way you set it is you pull that back. There's a little latch here that comes around and holds it into place and a little trigger that you have to balance just perfectly like that. The mouse will come through, want to get the bait, and when they disturb that trigger right there, moves and it comes slamming down and you have them. Pretty easy to set and the basic idea is they're just going to sit there and run on the wheel all night and then in the morning you can catch and release them. What I'd really like to see is someone invent a modern version of this trap to see if they could put a little generator on here and have the mouse generate some electricity, run a little light or something like that. That would be fun, but I want to test this out and see if it will work, see if the mice actually will run on the wheel. So let's go set this up in the camper where I got a lot of mice, see if we can catch one and see if it enjoys running on the wheel. Let's go set up the motion cameras. Last night we caught a mouse in this antique fairy mouse trap, and this mouse looks really exhausted like it was running on the wheel all night. At least it had something to do, but it's ready to go. So we're going to open this up since this is a live animal trap and set this mouse free. Give a little shake there. The fairy, what a fun and interesting antique mouse trap.